Hi Taurus, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. And this is going to be, what are their true intentions in love? And this is a relationship reading for you and your person. And these are general, so they may or may not resonate, right? So let's get into the reading and, uh, yeah, let's see what we have for Taurus and their person. The extended reading is all about your person. Their oracle cards and their spread, right? Let's get into it and see what we have. Show me the energy for Taurus and their person. Show me the energy for Taurus and their person, please. And we have frying pan, trouble and accusations. Okay, somebody's accusing somebody of something, right? And uh, be careful when you accuse, <laughs> right? We have to be really kind of sure, right? We never really accuse anybody. Yeah, we kind of do. Let's see what, we have, what else we have. Maybe your person's accusing you. Maybe there's no accusations. Maybe there's just trouble, right? These cards are, you know, they are just, they're just, they're just not one dimension or kind of one meaning. Let's see what else we have. Uh, let's see. Show me the energy for Taurus and their person. Show me the energy. And now we have boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting here. So let's get into the reading to find out uh, what those, you know, what kind of those things are about. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get, let's get right into the reading here and skip the significator today. Just for this reading, uh, you just kind of how I'm doing. Let's see. We got to kind of switch things up. Let's look at uh, Taurus's current energy, the recent past, and the current energy for Taurus. Yeah. Mm hmm. Let's see what we have for the King of Pentacles, right? Yeah, Taurus, King of Pentacles. So there's Capricorn and Virgo. Let's see what we got. Show me the energy for Taurus and their person. Show me the energy. Eight of Cups, you're leaving a situation. There's trouble and you're leaving here. Eight of Cups. Uh, mm -hmm, wow. And... Two of Wands, you're at a crossroads about it, or or you could be, this doesn't always mean a crossroads, maybe you're just making a choice here, you know, as you leave, you're making a choice to, you know, choose your path, Two of Wands, you know, crossroad is just kind of one, Five, a King of Cups, <laughs> and in the challenge, Taurus, maybe your person is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, you want victory, and you're doubting judgment. So I'm not really sure why you're doubting or fearing judgment. You either want victory or clarity. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want the truth. Sometimes the Ace of Swords is the truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so let's look at your person's energy. Three of Cups. Page of Swords. Ace of Wands is their challenge. They want the Ten of Pentacles, or they're hoping and they're doubt, they're fearing or doubting the Three of Pentacles. It could be third party in this reading, right? We already see the Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles here. And remember, you know, these third parties can sometimes be family people. It doesn't always have to be a lover, right? Sometimes it's, you know, your, na your nosy in-laws, all right? Or maybe your own family that's, you know, being meddling into a situation. Sometimes it's adult kids, etc., etc., okay? Yeah, so let's see. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, let's see what you're doing here, Taurus. I feel like you are, like, choosing a path to move forward and walk away from something or somebody. Page of Pentacles to have some type of a new start with somebody. Knight of Cups reversed. Um, you know, there could be a water sign here, right? That can talk about a few things. Could talk about, you know, not not having courage. Could talk about trickery. So we're going to kind of leave that out for a minute, this Knight of Cups, because we're not sure what it is. But what's sure is that you want to move forward and, and pick a choice, pick a path, right? And the King of Cups is the challenge. That could be this person here, this Knight of Cups. Could be this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. The challenge here, you're looking at your money bush, but you could just be kind of, the challenge here, uh, you know, for some of you guys, you could be looking at how things are going to go. That could be challenging you because you are choosing a path over here to move forward <clears throat> or you're at a crossroads about somebody else's path. That could be the case too. 
the person might be walking away from you, but there's some type of trouble in paradise right here. All right, with this ribeye steak and the frying pan, all right, guys? And they put a ribeye there because we know ribeye is one of the most delicious steaks. Yes, it is. I'm not a huge meat eater, but kind of grew up kind of eating, you know, meat, eating meat, right? The traditional diet in the United States. <coughs> Definitely had meat in it, right? Yeah, I mean, now people are becoming, you know, uh, vegan or whatever they are, vegetarian. And uh, I just try to eat more veggies, but I don't totally remove beef. They want to get rid of it. You want to be able to buy a steak. Mm -hmm. They're saying the cows are the problem. No, dude. Yeah, people, everybody, you and I uh, uh, breathe out or, you know, exhale carbon dioxide. Yeah, we do. So, but they're, you know, people don't know that. They go, I trust the science. No, you need, you trust their version of the science. That's what you trust. Yeah, they don't want to, they're trying to take away everything. So let's get back to the reading, though. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see here. I was just looking at that steak, right? Because it does really look good, you guys. If you guys like meat, you know, your ribeye to me is the most delicious. Ribeye. <laughs> For all you, you know, it could be people out there going, I hate meat, right? I mean, my daughter doesn't eat meat anymore. But, you know, the ribeye is the prime rib. So if you are a meat eater, you know that, right? If you, yeah, a prime rib is, is, is the most tender. It could be the fattiest, but the most tender. So let's get into it. <laughs> let's look at, uh, so here's your challenge over here, Taurus. Let's look at what you desire. You want an ending and a new beginning. And you want some type of either clarity about it or you want victory. It could be, a, it could be, it could be, you could be needing clarity here. You could. But definitely you want some kind of victory here and you're leaving a situation. I feel like you could be saying you want to end the cycle and you want to begin a new one. And uh, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's in some type of a third party in this reading. This is like the seventh reading, of maybe the eighth, maybe even the ninth reading I've done here. And uh, I mean, I mentioned potential third parties, but in this reading, it looks like there's really one. Mm -hmm. And judgment, the star card, and temperance. This is what you're doubting or fearing. You could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sag, right? Or here's Sag. Uh, where's that Knight of Wands at? I thought there was a Knight of Wands. No. Hmm. Let's get a, clar not a clarifier, let's get a significator. I feel like I said I wasn't going to do that. Show me the energy for a Taurus and their person. That's okay. We can be spontaneous. Yeah, we can. Sometimes you're supposed to, right? That's why you have, like, these little signals at night, right? Not signals, these signs. Numbers coming to you, synchronicities, dreams. Sometimes you have to switch up your game. Yeah, and the dreams are trying to tell you, or these visions. <laughs> It's not really weighing into this reading so much, but let's be spontaneous. Let's get a card for Taurus and their person. The main energy. It's the Two of Swords. Okay. That could be, you know, I don't know what to do about a situation. The challenge for you, you're sitting here, you know, thinking about stuff here. I wonder, right? Seven of Pentacles is kind of like I wonder. And over here, you know, your person is in that energy too. Page of Swords. You want either clarity or victory. For sure you want some type of victory, though. Ace of Pentacles, world card. You're doubting. You could be doubting you can, you can heal a situation with somebody. You could be doubting you're going to get forgiveness here, right? It could be Aquarius here in the reading. Scorpio, Sag, Pisces, or Cancer. That's it so far, right? So let's see what else we have. Let's get back to the other deck. Where's that deck at? You're doubting or fearing you're not going to have a rebirth with somebody. I feel like you are. And a healing. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're doubting or fearing making a decision. Maybe. And I, feel, I don't feel like that's really the case, but it could be. I mean, you could be looking for your clarity over here. I just feel like you want some kind of victory. And there's some type of ending or a new beginning that is attached with the world card. That is clear. Your, your person's past energy, three of cups, tower, four of wands. This could be saying they ended a situation with you. 
I felt like your person was thinking things were going to end with the tower because you over here want an ending. Mm -hmm. Could depend, could go vice versa. Let's get a card on the Page of Swords. Your person is currently in the Page of Swords energy with the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So, so far we have the King and the Queen of Cups in the reading, and I feel like there could be maybe a Sag here. Uh, but there's a water sign here that you're dealing with, uh, Taurus. And, uh, you know, on some level, right, could be any water sign. Your person is thinking, I feel like they're uh, in their head about trying to have their wish or about you getting your wish. High Priestess, Four of Pentacles. To me, it looks like your person has somebody, and you just want to leave the situation here. But judgment, you know, it could be, uh, judgment can go kind of either way in this reading. Why is it Ace of Wands? There's what you're doubting or fearing. For some of you guys, you could be doubting you're going to get back together with the same person. I feel like either they're holding on to somebody or you are. It looks like they are, but, you know, it could be either way. The Knight of Cups is in your energy. It's in the reverse Taurus, this could be the same king and the queen of cups who's here, but it could be trickery and fear. Yeah, about a love offer. Let's look at their challenge. Ace of wands, six of cups, the sun card. Somebody from their past is challenging them. Strength card in the reverse. Okay, they don't, this is, here it is. They don't have any courage here. There could be a Leo here too. There could, right? Strength card, uh, sun card. But I feel like your person is lacking courage here about some new beginning. They think you're holding on to somebody. Yeah, they do. And you're leaving here, Taurus, for some of you guys, are walking away. But at the same time, you're thinking, how is it going to turn out? And that's why you want an ending and a new beginning for some of you guys. The reading could still be switched. It could because it's general, guys. I, yeah, you guys might be in Jamaica and you could be going, well, it's switched, right? Okay, so let's look at uh, your person's desire, the Nine of Swords reversed. So this is what they want. Or hope for. King of Swords. I feel like they were worried here. They could have suspicions. Yeah, they could definitely have suspicions. And what are they fearing here? They could be wanting to make a decision here. They could be that's, that's it. Maybe about money, Ten of Pentacles, or about the union they're in with you. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Mm, it could be like, you know, some money showing up in the situation. Or, or some type of stability that's on the line. Hangman reverse. This is Pisces for me. This is what your person, uh, for some. For, for some of you guys, there really is a Piscean here. We see the king and the queen of cups. Yeah, the knight is here. The whole family's here. All right. Yeah, they're all showing up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're fearing the three of pentacles. They're fearing things aren't going to work out. They're doubting. They could be fearing a third party. Your person is the one who looks like they have challenging cards, not you, Taurus. Two of Cups. Yeah, you want somebody here, and they're fearing their, their situation's not going to work. The trouble is, you know, could be for both here. But let's see. We're going to go over to the Extended, and we're going to pull a Significator for your person, right? Yeah, and, just, and all their Oracle cards and the Tarot is going to be for them. They're super affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And we're going to see how they feel about you, Taurus. Their side of the story. What's most important to them. Yeah, I want to see that too. And also, uh, what you don't know about them and their true intentions. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here.